Hey, what's up guys? Richie from 04 Mach 1 Speed. So I wanted to make a review of this cool battery bank that I got from Amazon for about $14. Actually, I think it was $13. And I kind of wanted to make a review of it before I drop um, it and break it. And it is 5,000 milliamp hours. And it's really interesting because it has a display on there that tells you the percentage of... Uh, how much battery you have left so it's about half right now it's kind of hard to see it but all right so my suggestion is if you're into or if you want a battery bank um to charge your vapor thing your phone whatever you have um i would obviously strongly recommend looking for ones with good reviews and the technology for the display um on the battery banks is somewhat relatively new because i remember looking at them a couple years ago and i don't remember seeing the display on there uh but it is pretty accurate to tell you the truth and a lot of battery banks now have it uh, and this is 47%. If you push this little side button here, it's 47%. And it does take quite a while to charge, even at one amp. It takes uh, like six hours, and that's because it is 5,000 milliamp hours. And I eventually do want to get a much higher capacity battery bank. Um, I want to get one of the 12 to 15,000 milliamp batteries uh, just to have it. All right, so I was a little skeptical when I first got it because it's only $14. Oh, it was only $13, and it has a display on there, a lithium polymer battery. Uh, lithium polymer is a little bit more expensive than lithium ion. Lithium ion is just a little bit cheaper uh, type of lithium battery. And if you know lithium batteries, um, if you have somewhat some knowledge of lithium batteries, you do know that lithium polymer is a little bit more expensive. So $13 for a 5,000 milliamp battery bank is um, plenty of reasons to be skeptical about it, but it does work perfectly. It's fantastic. It does take about six hours to charge. If you're charging it at one amp, I would not charge it at two amps. It says on the instruction manual that you can charge it at two amps, I believe, but I'm not going to do that. So the simple reason why I got this battery bank is because I do have the Joytech Ego 1 and it's about 2200 milliamp hours and this old battery bank from Duracell is 2600 and it wouldn't even halfway charge the Ego 1 so a uh, battery bank like this is not really so much uh, practical anymore uh, even it, this thing even has a hard time charging a phone so uh, but it is a, a single 18650 battery but these things are going to be obsolete to be honest I believe so because these things are becoming more popular and these I'm seeing less of them so who wants a 2600 milliamp uh, battery bank when you can get a Five or six or twelve or fifteen thousand. All right. So first, side, first thing I noticed, it, it's almost identical to the size of an iPhone, uh, like the old previous iPhone four uh, or four S. Basically, the exact same size. Um, so if you don't mind carrying around an extra battery bank or a little bit of extra power, then that would be great. Um, this would be a great one. So it has a a one amp port and a two amp port. Uh, two amp would be for you know iPad, tablets, something like that. I wouldn't recommend charging a phone on two amps. Even some of the bigger capacity ones, like the Galaxy Note and all those. Uh, you might be able to charge them at 2 amps, but I would just recommend using the 1 amp port. You have the N, of course. And it does take any micro USB um, to charge. Uh, you don't have to use the one that it came with. You can if you want, but if you have another one laying around, uh, you can use that one. So it does come with one, and it also comes with another micro USB that you can plug the... I have a feeling that this uh, battery bank is kind of old, <laughs> because it has the old the old iPhone and iPod uh, connector piece. It doesn't even have the 5 or 5S or 6. So I have a feeling that this battery bank is probably a few years old, but that's okay. Still works. Right, so the only reason I wanted to make a review of this thing to tell you guys how I thought or what my thoughts are about it is simply for the fact that I don't really actually see that many easy ACC uh, B or PB5000 APs, which is the model of this one. Uh, it is on Amazon and out of 26 reviews, um, it is a 4.5 star. So if you want to pick up a nice 5,000 milliamp battery bank, then this would be the one to go with. Uh, but there's a lot on there. Just type in uh, just type in battery bank with uh, LCD display, and it'll basically come up with all the ones with the one uh, that will have the display on there. And you can check the battery life. Uh, so a lot of people make a uh, big deal about how many uh, life cycles the battery actually has. I pay no attention to the life cycle. Uh, I pay no attention to the life cycle on these 18650s, uh, 16340s. I just don't pay attention to it because who's counting? Who knows it's exactly 500 cycles? Nobody really knows. Uh, but it is going to last a long time as long as you don't drop it. So I got a feeling if you drop this thing on the concrete, you might as well say bye to it. So I right, just like everything like this, this thing actually has a pretty large instruction book. Uh, let me read off the warranty information to you. Uh, easy ACC Biate Ein 12 Monetaji Garant. Oh, that's the wrong side. It does have a 12 month warranty, but you know, this thing's so cheap, it doesn't really matter. Even has a little thing to send off for the warranty card, but for thirteen dollars, who's gonna do that?
All right, so just to let you know, uh, I've already charged. Well, I'm charging it again because I killed it again. But uh, I charged. This thing was almost dead, the Ego 1 uh, from Joytech. And I basically fully charged it, and it's at 47%. So that's right on kind of pretty accurate to what it actually is since those are 2,200. This is 5,000. You're not going to be able to charge two things that are 2,500 milliamp hours. These battery banks don't work like that. Um, just like if you have a battery bank that's 6,000 milliamp hours and the uh, iPhone 6 Plus is 3,000 milliamp hours, it's not going to charge it twice fully exactly, and this thing's going to be at zero. These battery banks don't work like that. I've kind of realized that over the course of having a few of them. Uh, so there's always going to be, give or take, a few that's a few hundred milliamp hours that are missing out of there somewhere. But but yeah, so it did, it did fully charge that thing once. And it's at 47%, so it's pretty accurate. But there it is. So the Easy ACC 5,000 milliamp battery bank. And if you guys like it, of course, uh, Amazon has it for $12, $13. Um, and you can just type in Easy ACC 5,000, and it'll come up with this one. So.